Hi there everybody, Jason here, and I don't believe that I've spoken on these yet, um, but even if I have, I have something really cool for you. So, these are collectible Pokemon toys uh, that were handed out by Burger King. Uh, it was late, late 90s, um, I only know about them because I was visiting uh, the country uh, for a winter vacation, and uh, when I was working a part-time job, I would spend my money over at Burger King to pick up these things. But anyway, inside, you get collector gold-plated, 23 karat gold-plated, mind you, uh, character cards of certain Pokemon from the first generation. Uh, so this one here is Mewtwo. It's got a description on the back, which might be like almost impossible to read, uh, but it says, oh, no, there you go. It's got his length and his weight. It says, genetic Pokemon. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. Evolution, Mewtwo. <laughs> there you go, 1999 Nintendo. Uh, these things were super cool. I really, really liked the idea of them. And they came with these little uh, Pokemon, like the Pokeballs so you can actually display them. And they also came with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, it says Pokemon Special Edition 23 karat uh, plated gold trading card, 150 Mewtwo. Officially licensed by Nintendo. <laughs> Signed by the chairman. Let's see, can I read this? This Pokemon Special 23 karat gold plated trading card has been produced to the highest standards uh, for Nintendo of America. It is made from the highest quality alloy to ensure lasting value, long life, and beauty. We suggest that it remain in the clear cover in which it was delivered. Fingerprints and exposure to the weather will cause the superb finish to tarnish. Anyway, that's not all. So, I was out at a collector store the other day and I picked up this. So it's another one, I got the one that's inside here I got for 15 and I picked up another one that's inside here for 10. So I picked up this one here for $10. This is a Polyrath, yeah, no, Polywhirl. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me get this sticker off of here real quick. I haven't quite done that because I wanted to make sure I got it all off. I probably should have done that before I started filming this, but I forgot. And now there's Ristu. Oh well. But <clears throat> this one says Tadpole Pokemon, capable of living in and out of water. When out of water, it sweats to keep its body slimy. And it says down here you got Poliwag, Poliwhirl. And it says level level 25. And then it says down at the bottom too, uh, Poliwrath with a water stone. So that's Poliwhirl. And then inside the actual thing came Togepi. Uh, <laughs> actually, I actually kind of like this one. It, like, I like them because it gives them like a three-dimensional nature to the actual character. I feel like that's too much action for a Togepi to be like being involved with. With somebody like Polyrath or Mewtwo, like it makes sense, but Togepi just kind of just sits there. <laughs> and this one says on the back, let's see here. All right, so it says length and width and weight unknown. It says Pokemon. Information on Togepi unknown at this time. Evolution? Question mark. <laughs> because it was an, it was like the like one of the only announced Pokemon uh, for the next generation at the time. And of course, I have the uh, seal right here. There's no number for the Pokemon because there is no number for him just yet. But that's actually not all. I also picked up these guys. So this is actually another Mewtwo. Um, and inside the box here, you'll see that it is still like mint. Like it is still sealed inside its package. And I'm gonna leave it like that. I thought when I bought this that I actually had a Charizard at home, but it turns out that I actually only had that I already had the Mewtwo, which is fine. So now I've got a Mewtwo new in the box. The box has seen some better days, uh, but he can stay there. <laughs> the whole important thing was is that it was like brand new inside the box, but then I also have this one, which is Pikachu. Um, he is also brand new, but we're gonna be cracking this one open today. So, got a brand new Pikachu. <laughs> 
actually kind of exciting. I remember getting these when I was a kid. I thought they were so freaking cool. Like, that was, like, the beginning of my, like, massive Pokemon love. Like, I'd already played the, the Game Boy games, but this was just even cooler. Dude, look at the shine on that one. Like, compared to... Compared to this one... I don't know if you can actually tell, but like, there's just, there's a lot less scuffing on it. It is beautiful. But let's, let's open it. There he is. Pikachu. Mint. Like, absolutely mint condition. There's like, no scuffing or scratches on the uh, outer case. Pikachu looks great. On the back. It says... Mouse Pokemon. When several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity would build and cause lightning storms. And it says evolution, Pikachu, and then Raichu with Thunderstone. But that's not completely true because now there's Pichu. But they didn't know that then. <laughs> then we have our little uh, certificate of authenticity, which says number 25, Pikachu. That's what I'm telling you. But yeah, there you go. I like that. I, I do really think that these things are super cool. Um, I'm happy that I'm able to pick them up again. Um, there's two other ones. There's Charizard and then there is uh, Clefairy. Um, I thought that the only one that I was going to be missing was Clefairy, but that's okay. But either way, let me know what you think of these cards. <clears throat> let me know which one you think is the coolest and if you have any. Um, I'm actually super stoked about the fact that I have these four, and I'm very happy with it. And I'm very glad to have, like, the inbox, like, Mewtwo. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Pikachu and Charizard are the more, like, sought after, but, uh, like, and the prices seem to range between, like, uh, $10 and $20, and there was a whole set of them for 200 still brand new in the box, which, probably not a bad, I, not a bad deal. Uh, but anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, oh.